Now, let us talk about the political institutions in India. The first is the Prime Minister and his cabinet. The Prime Minister and the Cabinet are the final authority of policy decision making in the country. They are very very strong about the fact that all the policies are made by the Prime Minister and his Union Cabinet. Then we have the civil servants that is whom we call as the bureaucrats. They are responsible for the execution of the policies and we have the Supreme Court of India which acts as a safeguard against all the irregularities which might occur in the working of the government. And it also sees that whatever the decisions are, they are safeguarded. Well, we have to remember that since we have these political institutions, there is a controversy wherein people say that due to them there are delays as, as they have meetings, they have arguments, disagreements that is why the delay takes place in the making, implementing of various policies in India. And these delays lead to bad effect on the country. But on the other hand, we have to remember that when there is a check and a counter check and when a policy is assessed properly by various institutions, it cannot go wrong. So delay is better than wrong policy formulation and its implementation. Now, when we talk of the parliament in the country, we have one question in mind that why do we need a parliament? When we talk of the parliament, we just remember that the parliament has two important functions to perform. The first is the legislative function that is it makes laws for the country. It makes laws in the union list, in the state list and also in the concurrent list. Meaning to say in the union list it has all the powers to make policies and decisions in those subjects. In the concurrent list also it nearly has all the powers and in some cases it also has power to encroach in the state list. So the most important function of the parliament is to make laws through various lists and the subjects which are there in the list. The non-legislative function of the parliament is that parliament is that body by which the constitution can be amended. Of course, there is two-third of majority which is required for amending the constitution, but the constitution can be amended by the parliament at any point of time. So, it is very important to have the parliament when you want to make changes in the parliament as required by the time. Then if the president of the country or the judge of the court has to be removed out of his job or out of his office, then the impeachment procedure which is followed is also done in the parliament itself. So parliament is a very strong and important institution of the country wherein it enjoys both legislative and non-legislative powers.